Uh, in this branch of physics that we're investigating, mechanics, the subchapter uh, kinematics. Kinematics is simply how things move. So a couple questions that we've answered so far, how fast they move, average speed or average velocity, uh, how fast their motion changes every second, acceleration, how much velocity change they go through every second. But what we can do is to use some new equations, which we're going to define and apply uh, one by one, in order to make predictions as to how things move. When we use these equations, we don't explain why they do what they do. Why do things change their motion? We just say how they do it, and we'll be able to make predictions ultimately of how fast they're going and how far they travel when they're traveling with a constant velocity or experiencing a constant acceleration. That's the velocity change. So the first equation that we're going to define is born from our definition of acceleration. We know that acceleration is the change in velocity per change in time. Uh, we can rewrite this equation as delta v, which is vf minus vi. And then if we take this equation and solve it for a variable, let's say if we solve it for vf, which is right here within the equation, using algebra to manipulate that, it leaves us with an equation that we can use to predict the final speed of an object that has some starting speed, a constant acceleration or not, as time goes on. How fast is this object going as time goes on? This equation tells us its velocity changes as a function of time. How fast? What we're going to do is to use the how fast equation, which again is born from the definition of acceleration, to find the final speed. Let's talk it through. You start off from rest, you're not moving, and you accelerate at a rate of 4 meters per second for 6 seconds. Every second that goes by in this problem, you gain 4 meters per second of speed. So we can think it through. After 0 seconds, you wouldn't have done anything. After 1 second, you would have gained 4 meters per second of speed, because the acceleration is 4. So you're going 4, 2 seconds, you're going 8, 3, you're going 12, yada, yada, yada. 6 seconds later, you're going some speed. What is that speed? As time goes on, your speed increases. To find this, we're going to write what we know. We start off at rest, so v i is 0. We know the acceleration, a, is 4 meters per second squared. And the time is 6 seconds. What is your final velocity? we're applying the how fast or the kinematic equation number one. We know that VF or V, I'll just write that down, V equals your starting speed plus the product of acceleration and time. The final speed is the starting speed, zero meters per second. This is the speed you start off with plus a times t. This is the speed that you gain. 4 meters per second per second. I'm just going to write 4 meters per second squared in that manner. Times the elapsed time, 6 seconds. And it's interesting. Seconds in, is in the denominator. We'll cancel seconds in the numerator. And we get 0 meters per second. That's equal to v. Plus the speed you would have gained. 4 times 6, 24 meters per second. Seconds cancel seconds. So your new speed is 24 meters per second. So beautiful. We can predict the unpredictable.